What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 1? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Today's discussion is my Z fans, what if? Goku was born as a legendary Super Saiyan. How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? More importantly, how would this impact Goku's life? One thing we know is that every thousand year a legendary Super Saiyan is born and we all knew just how powerful Broly is since he is the legendary Super Saiyan but because of Broly isn't able to really control his power therefore he can't use his power to his full where for Goku he has a very sharp sense of fighting thanks to his training and all the other masters that he has trained with. It helps Goku to be able to use his power to his full. And I believe that if he had Broly's legendary Super Saiyan power, Goku would have been the most overpowered Saiyan inside the entire multiverse. No one would have been able to come and touch Goku if he was able to use that power to his full. So we're going to discuss about from the beginning of Dragon Ball all the way to the end of Dragon Ball Super. How would this impact Goku's power level and what would change inside the entire story? Because I don't know if you noticed, but when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, if we change anything about the timeline, the entire timeline will change. That is how the timeline for Dragon Ball Z works. So we're gonna find out what happens if legendary Super Saiyan Goku existed. So my Z fans, let's go find out what happens. What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan Part 1? On the day that Goku was born, Bardock and Gi noticed just how powerful their son was as his power level as a baby was 910. Due to the fact that they knew how evil King Vegeta is, they didn't want him to know about Goku's parallel and therefore Bardock declared Goku a lower class Saiyan, making his parallel be at only 5. At the meantime, Bardock took Goku to his home and tried to make Goku be already and healed up so he's ready to go on a mission. From there, Bardock and Gein tried everything they can to raise Goku. At the same time, Raditz, his brother, was very excited and amazed that his brother's really strong and he loved Kakarot so much. One day, Raditz got called for a mission as Goku was still inside his capsule and they kept Goku hidden from King Vegeta. Bardock saw a spaceship that came near their planet and therefore he saw it was Frieza as Frieza was getting ready to destroy the planet. Out of nowhere, Bardock took Goku with Gin and he made Goku leave on a space spot. He sent his course towards planet Earth as Bardock looked at Goku and said, Kakarot, my son, please you need to survive and I'm very sorry I can't be there to protect you, but I promise if I'm alive, I'll come back to get you. Kakarot, my son, please wait for us. I love you so much, my baby. You're the hope of all the Saiyan. Mommy will always be there for you. Please wait for us, Kakarot. Mama, Dada. As Goku was sent out to planet Earth, Bardock went to fight Frieza. As all the Saiyans were too scared to come and help Bardock, so he went and fought Frieza alone to save his planet. Frieza went and killed him with the planet as Bardock died and his last words to Kakarot was, Kakra, my son, please survive. No matter what, you must survive. As Planet Vegeta got destroyed. Back on Earth, it was a very peaceful time and out of nowhere, a huge space spot has landed. Once it broke, a baby came out and it was crying. Grandpa Gohan heard the cry as he was walking by and he went and he saw Goku lying there crying. He then went and picked him up and decided to raise him and from there he named this baby Goku. Grandpa Gohan realized that Goku was very powerful 
as he took him to Master Roshi and even Master Roshi got scared of Goku but they decided to go and make Goku be one of them by training him and trying to make him get control of his power. Five years has passed, Goku has now grown to a kid and Grandpa Gohan was alive due to the fact that Goku never killed him in his grade 8 form. Goku was very well mannered as Grandpa Gohan has pretty much taught Goku everything he knows about life and manners. During his time, Goku has learned the Kamehameha wave due to Master Roshi and even Grandpa Gohan teaching him how to use that wave and therefore his power level kept growing. One day, Boma has come to Goku's house as she wanted the Dragon Ball and when she got there, Grandpa Gohan told her to take Goku with her so he can aid her on her journey. They then went together to collect all the Dragon Balls. Goku went to Boma as he was very curious about what are the Dragon Balls and they managed to gather all of the 6 Dragon Balls. During their hunt, Goku has encountered Yamcha and he managed to one shot him to the ground. Goku managed to help Boma get all the Dragon Balls but once when she got it, she didn't need to wish for a boyfriend because she met Yamcha and therefore those two became boyfriend and girlfriend. And therefore Goku get to use the Dragon Balls to ask for any wish. He made a wish for a buffet of food. Goku has now come back and he lived with his grandpa until Gohan told Goku to go to Master Roshi's island and train with him. Once when Goku got there, he met Krillin and therefore both of them got a lot stronger as the World Martial Arts Tournament began. Krillin and Goku made their way to the semi-finals as Goku went and punched Krillin hard to the ground and when he got up, he managed to kick him out of bounds. The final fight of the tournament was Goku and Master Roshi aka Jackie Chung. During their fight, Goku went and he powered up making his power level be at 3000. He was only 6 years old. Roshi was very surprised at Goku's power level as he said, just how much stronger is Goku keep getting? Jeez, if he keeps getting stronger, I'm way out of his control. As Master Roshi and Goku fought one another and he managed to use his lightning flash attack causing Goku to transform into his grade A form due to the amount of electric shot that hit his body. When he went to his grade A form, Goku lost control as Grandpa Gohan came right in front of him and seeing Gohan's face helped Goku to calm down as he went right back to his normal base but he managed to go and kick Master Roshi very hard as that pretty much gave him the win for the tournament. Goku has now won the tournament and he's the first 6 year old child to ever win this tournament. Master Roshi was very proud of Goku as he told Goku to go on an adventure and try to get stronger by exploring the world. He also gave Goku the flying Nimbus and also told Goku about Korin Tower and thought that it will be a right idea if Goku goes and trains with Korin. That way he is able to use that special train that Korin has to get him a lot stronger. Goku decided to take Master Roshi's advice. As he left and he started to go explore the world and try to train to get stronger. During his adventure, Goku managed to meet some of the Red Ribbon Army since he doesn't like evil. He saw that they were trying to kill innocent life just so that they could steal the Dragon Ball. Goku then stepped in and stopped the Red Ribbon Army allowing him to have at least 4 Dragon Balls in his possession. He then went to Korin Tower and once when he got there he met Upa and his family. As those two became very close with one another, Goku noticed that Upa had the 4 star Dragon Ball as he looked at Upa and said, No way! This is my grandpa's Dragon Ball! Oh, I wish I could find that to give it to my grandpa. Uh, Goku, here then, if this is your grandpa, you can have it. Really? Thank you so much, Upa. While that was happening, little did Goku knew, the Red Ribbon Army has sent their mercenary to come and kill Goku and steal his Dragon Ball. And that mercenary was Mercenary Tao, as he has arrived right next to Goku. And when Goku saw him, he told Upa to go and hide before Mercenary Tao can hurt him. But out of nowhere, Mercenary Tao used his Dodon Ray and he went and killed Upa and his father. Seeing them die got Goku very angry as he went and he started to scream and he went berserk. Due to his enormous legendary Super Saiyan Ki, Goku went and transformed into his Uzaru state form as his eyes turned yellow and he was able to use his Uzaru form while keeping its original form. 
Goku's power level came to be at 8,000 as he went and one-shotted Mercenary Tao to the ground. He then went and killed him with the Kamehameha wave. Once when he died, Goku decided to go and climb the Korin Tower as he had no idea what power he used and therefore he wanted to learn more about it and see if Korin knows anything about it. Once when he climbed the tower, Korin went and met with Goku and those two trained with one another and it took Goku literally 4 hours for him to complete the training as he was really fast for Korin and Korin was really surprised about Goku's power. Korin then told Goku that he doesn't know anything about Goku's power but that if he meets the Guardian of the Earth, he can guide Goku about this. Before Goku can go and meet the Guardian of the Earth, he wanted to use the Dragon Balls to resurrect Upa and his father as he went to South City, as he went to Castle Corp to ask Boma for the Dragon Radar. Once when Goku got the Dragon Radar, he then went and saw there's two Dragon Balls in two different locations. One is at the Red Ribbon Army headquarters and the other one is at a very far village. While Goku has five Dragon Balls in his possession. He then flew right towards where the village was and from there he saw Ox King and Chi Chi as they had the Dragon Balls in their possession. Once when they saw Goku, Ox King looked at Goku and said, Oh, you are Gohan's boy. I know you. Your name is Goku. Huh? You know me? Yes, I'm Goku. <laughs> Chi Chi, look, this is Goku. Goku, this is my daughter Chi Chi. As Goku and Chi Chi became friends with one another and they bonded. Goku then asked for the Dragon Ball and they gave him as he went and flew to make his way towards the Red Ribbon Army as he had a mission to revive Upa. Once when Goku got there, all of the Red Ribbon Army were waiting for Goku as they saw that he brought all the Dragon Balls towards them and they started to shoot him with their gun. Goku managed to dodge all the gun as none of their bullets were able to face Goku and he went and destroyed the entire army. Before anything can happen, General Black came to fight Goku with his machine but Goku went and he powered up his fist as he went and drilled through the machine and General Black died and from there Goku went and used the Kamehameha wave to destroy the Red Ribbon army base once and for all, causing Dr. Jiro to be very angry as he went to a hideout and he decided to do his secret planning. Goku got all the Dragon Balls as he went and summoned the dragon and he asked the dragon to bring back Upa and his father as those two came back to life and Goku was very happy to see his friends again. Goku now has a venture to go and find out more about his legendary Super Saiyan power and exactly what happened to him when he fought Mercenary Tao. What was that form that he took in? All of this will be answered in the next episode of what if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan as his adventure continues. Make sure you click the bell my Z fan so you'll be the first to know when it's out.